Hey guys, so there is a Arlen contest. I'm hoping to end that contest like this weekend because then I can run my Nahiri contest. Okay, so that was a... I just spoiled the next contest prize would be Nahari. Nahari. And she is $27 in chains right now in TCG players. So, so it'll be significantly better. I got to set a goal. I think my goal will be 25555 but anyway, let's talk about this card. This card has spiked up in price 4,000%. Wow. 4,000% pretty much overnight, as you can see from the spike chart. It was under a dollar or was a TCG mid dollar for this particular version. Yes, this is the correct version of it. I believe it was reprinted in 4th edition. I make these videos to show you that the MTG speculators, they can control the market and they have absolute dominance over the market. Uh, because it doesn't take that much capital to go out and buy one card and buy into oblivion secondly i make these videos because maybe you have a card like this and now you know that your card is worth supposedly 40 dollars uh, as opposed to the bulk card so i would definitely suggest that if you have any uh, bulk cards from this era or older bulk cards go and look at them and see if you have this card and then put this card in your trade binary remember that it's supposedly it's tcg made forty dollars right now the same with if you go to a local store um, a lot of local stores they don't sort their cards very much especially cards they consider bulk and this has been under a dollar or at dollar for the longest time i can remember i mean it was printed 15 17 years ago and it's always been like a dollar probably even less when it was first pr printed and yeah you can be you will be able to find these and if you do find one in my experience you find like 10 of them like you if you can hit on the one if you see one of them it probably means the store has a bunch of them and they just didn't sell so finding 10 of them means like 400 dollars in trade trade maybe you can send it to pico pico trade right puke trade um but you know if you can offset if you can even trade it for five dollars which should be really easy because you can say hey look this card's forty dollars i want to trade it for five dollars i would do that trade all day uh, even if for this card then you still made 500 percent, which is not bad considering that it's an instant 500 percent, and you're not waiting many many years like a booster box or something if a booster box it increased 500 percent, you probably had to wait like 10 years maybe more this one, hey, you just go to the store, see if they have any in their bulk. Maybe they do, and now you're $40 per card belly off. Bye.